episode team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and it's a throwback baby this jersey is it's gonna be an artifact in raven's history because it's not looking like it's gonna be worn by lamar anymore you know what's crazy i remember going back um when lamar got injured in the broncos game there were a lot of ravens fans that were like oh he probably played his last down as a Raven. And I thought about it. And I was like, ah, well, maybe he, he might come back this year. Uh, and then next year, I think they could possibly get something worked out. I ain't really worried about that right now. But looks like a lot of them were right. And, of course, nothing is officially official yet. But Lamar Jackson has officially requested a trade from the Baltimore Ravens. And as crazy as it is. As timely as it is, I see you, Lamar. I see the business side of you, too. And the petty side, too, is not a shocker. It's not a shocker. It's not a surprise. It's not like this big brand new revelation. And, oh, my goodness, he's requesting it. No, no. This is something that a lot of us were prepared for. And a lot of people actually expected. A lot of people have thought this happened already. And, and he said, according to him, it happened on March 2nd. And we're going to read that in a minute. But first, let's talk about the timing of it. Because literally right, right now, as I record this, Harbaugh is having his presser. Lamar Jackson, you know Lamar Jackson was aware of Harbaugh's presser, but Lamar, right when John Harbaugh's presser was supposed to go live, right when it went live, Lamar tweeted out this thread at the exact same time John Harbaugh's presser went live. So I guess Lamar was like, look, I know how Harbaugh is. Got love for Harbaugh and whatnot, but I know that he's going to say one thing, but it's really another. So let me let y'all know from right here. Let me let y'all know exactly what it is. Y'all ain't got to wait for the YouTube video. I'm going to let you know exactly what it is. Because you know Harbaugh going to say one thing. And, and I started listening to Harbaugh's presser. Because Harbaugh was like, hey, no, we, our plans are for Lamar Jackson. And no, no, I haven't seen what he put on Twitter and whatnot. So, yeah. Lamar, I guess. Well, Lamar was like, you know, I'm going to shut all that down before it even gets built up. But let's read the letter to my fans from Lamar Jackson. It says... Uh, I want to first thank you for all the love and support you consistently show towards me. All of you are amazing, and I appreciate y'all so much. I want you all to know not to believe everything you read about me. Let me personally answer your questions. So let's just keep going. Uh, in regards to my future plans, as of March 2nd, I requested a trade from the Ravens organization for which the Ravens has, has, has not been interested in meeting my value. Any and everyone that's has, that has met me or been around me know I love the game of football and my dream is to help a team win the Super Bowl. You all are great, but I had to make a business decision that was best for my family and I. No matter how far I go or where my career takes me, I'll continue to be close to my fans of Baltimore Flock Nation and the entire state of Maryland. You'll see me again trust let's stay connected subscribe to my fan page so lamar letting it be known like hey i love y'all but i gotta go i gotta go they didn't want to meet uh my my contract they is they had not been interested in meeting my value any and everyone that's met me or been around me knows i love the game of football my dreams to help a team win the super bowl so looks like that will not be happening with the Baltimore Ravens. And that sucks. It sucks, but I get it. I understand it. A lot of fans, this is what a lot of fans have been asking for too. I've been seeing so many fans say, Lamar, Lamar needs to stop playing around, stop messing around, and if you, if you wanna sign, sign, or if you wanna be traded, just come out and say it. He came out and said it. There you go. You got exactly what you asked for. You got exactly what you wish for. It doesn't look like Lamar's going to be a Baltimore Raven anymore. And that sucks. That sucks a lot. But um, for Lamar Jackson, um, <laughs> this, this, this sucks. This really sucks. Um, I'm not surprised, though. And I really hope whatever happens now, however it happens, um, this is obviously an ugly breakup. And but this is part of the resolution. That's what a lot of people have been saying. And we said it on here, too. Like, hey, this season, we said it that this offseason, a resolution needs to happen. They don't need to extend this thing out any longer. They don't need to no more franchise tag. No more. Oh, one more year. No, 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 no. If, it, if it's going to be a long term thing. Great. But if it's not, 
It's unfortunate. But something had to happen. And there you have it. I mean, it's not official yet, but now it's just a matter of time. Because it's public. It's, it's, it's out there. It's not just a report from Jeremy Fowler. It's not just an article from Jacina Anderson. It's not just a video. It's, it, no, 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 no. This is coming directly from the source. Directly. So it ain't no he say, she say. It ain't no rumor. It ain't no art. It ain't none of it. No, it's coming directly from Lamar Jackson himself. It's documented. It's detailed. This, this ain't going to be deleted. This ain't going to be a tweet that gets deleted. That's it. That's it. And man. Mm. It, it's, it's sad when you think about it, man. Because you think about all the what could have been. You think about all the what should have been. You think about, oh, especially these last, we've been talking about this so much these last three years, man. I feel like it's just, it's almost like, almost been wasted man these last three years because it's uh, they, they could have done so much more man. they could have done so much more but they didn't and now you gotta start over now you gotta start over that's it that's it that's a wrap it was fun it was fun like man Lamar the Ravens were before Lamar got there um obviously uh the most recent fun that we as Ravens fans had had probably in 2014 um that was the most recent fun obviously the best fun a couple years prior to that uh the 2012 season when they won the Super Bowl um 2013 after the Super Bowl was shaky 2014 Steve Smith senior came they, they were having fun man they, it, it was fun Ravens were doing their thing uh, but then 2015 happened, uh, and that was just a bunch of injuries. And 2016 happened, couldn't get it together. 2017 happened, nothing. It just didn't work out. Um, but then uh, in 2017, the end of the year, um, last game of the season, Tyler Boyd. We appreciate Tyler Boyd. Thank you, Tyler Boyd, because that was was it fourth and twelve or fourth and eighteen? I think it was fourth and twelve. I think I think it was fourth and twelve. Tyler Boyd helped us get Lamar Jackson. So thank you. Um, he started what would be a, just a fun five years, man. So thank you, Tyler Boyd, for making that play. Thank you for everybody who missed the tackle, uh, missed the assignments, because that got the Ravens Lamar Jackson. But now, wow, five years came and gone. Now he's about to be out. Now he's about to be gone, man. That sucks. That really sucks. But he's about to be out of here. But I remember 2018. Um, wow, this is crazy. 2018, remember uh, when they drafted him? I was hyped. I'm like, oh, you from South Florida? To oh, yeah, yeah, let's go. But um, watching him in the preseason, I'm like, oh, okay. I, oh, he like that. Oh, okay, now. Then he threw that first touchdown pass to Hayden Hurst against the Panthers in the preseason. I was like, oh, okay. Be a little start or something. But I know still Flacco's team and whatnot. And then throughout the regular season, they would put him in on these different plays and whatnot. Um, and then he, when he got his first touchdown against the Saints, oh, I was, I was jumping up and down like Ravens had won the Super Bowl or something. Never forget. Um, they lost that game, but, and, and it was hurting. But that, I, was, I was super happy for him when he got that first touchdown. And uh, then Flacco got hurt. Um, I think it was in the Steelers game toward the end of the season. Took a hit from either, I think Cam Hayward or Stephon Tewitt. I think it was Stephon Tewitt. And you could tell the Ravens had just been waiting to put Lamar Jackson in because they kept putting him in these different packages and whatnot. But they were just, they, you could tell they really wanted him to get on the field. Then Flacco was out. He was injured. And I wonder if it was one of them injuries where it's like he could have came back. I think he probably could have. But they were like, Flacco, just chill. Insert Lamar Jackson. New life to the team. New life. And then when, when it was officially the switch to Lamar Jackson, when they officially made it his team was the playoff game. And I know there were a lot of people like, no, they should have put Flacco in when Lamar was struggling. No. Mm -mm. No. You should not have. Flacco had his chances. And he obviously had a Super Bowl. But even the years, the years after the Super Bowl and the years prior to Lamar, Flacco had his chances. And we love Flacco. But his time was up. That was it. This was, this was Lamar's team now. So you can't be like, all right, Lamar, this is your team. You, you got us here. 
You know what? Playoffs, oh, you struggling? Get out of here. No, you got to rock with him because it was not just a short-term decision. It was a long-term decision that was made right then and there. Like, okay, yeah, we really rocking with Lamar now. And obviously 2019, like, y'all already know. That, that dream season that I always say it was not real. That season was not real. It was fake. Because just everything, it was just so crazy how that season was going. And it, of course, came to an end abruptly. Uh, I remember being there in person. It was, it was rough. It was tough. I remember being, first being there for the week, the, the, the last game of the season. Oh, man, being there was just amazing. It, never heard a stadium that loud before, ever. And any of the games I ever went to, never heard a stadium that loud, ever. Then I came back the next week for the playoff game. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard a stadium, stadium that quiet In a playoff game But um, it's part of the process Then 2020 happened uh, 2020 was a good season Not as good as 2019 But 2020 they got that first playoff win They got it um, 2021 Lamar started Couldn't finish the season in 2022 uh, The same thing um, I just felt for him man I, I felt for him No kind of Bateman was the same way But it's not really about Bateman right now But uh, just haven't been squeaky clean injury wise in college. Squeaky clean. Then all of a sudden you get to this point in your career and you're taking hits from the pocket and you get hurt. It's, it's unfortunate, man. But man, I, I do. Y'all, y'all already know. Like I'm rocking with Lamar heavy. 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 Uh Baltimore Raven or not. I do wish the best for him. I, I hope that he goes out there and just kills it, man. Um I, I just really hope he goes out there and does his thing. Uh, I hope he gets his bread. I, I hope he um, hope he gets his bread. I hope he goes to a team that's really like gonna invest in him truly. And when I invest, and when I say invest in him, I ain't talking about oh yeah, the, the defense is just nice. No, and it's nice to have a nice defense, but I really want to see him go to a team that's really gonna put pieces around him, like really, not just a great tight end. Cause Mark Andrews great now. He did his thing, obviously, top five tight end for sure. But at the receiver position as well. Like, it's really, like, really go in for your quarterback, man. That's what I want to see for Lamar Jackson. As far as personnel, as far as scheme. Scheme and coaching, that's so big, too. So I, I really want to see a team that's really going to really try to maximize Lamar Jackson's potential. We talked about it a lot of times on here that I just felt like as long as the Ravens continue to do things the Ravens' way, they will never get the most out of Lamar Jackson. We've been saying that on here for a long time. They would never get the most out of Lamar Jackson. And now, they're not getting anything else out of him. So team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Lamar Jackson will be soon when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, we out.